Mm. Yeah, buddy. Uh, freaking Jimmy Buffett's back. Anyhow, home from the pool. Sorry I didn't film much of that. Kenan was there and his mom. Brad didn't make it. Grandfather went. It was a pretty good day. It's about 3.30. Uh, Kenan and his mom had to leave earlier, so I'm back now. I'm going to meet the grandparents for dinner tonight. Probably the last time I'll see them before we head out of here um, next week. But I'm thinking uh, we leave Monday night, but stuff starts to get busy here with me Friday afternoon. Um, we got people coming back. I won't tell you specifics yet. It'll be more fun, so wait two days. But we have four yards to do. And mine and next door, my God, they're barely, they barely need it. That one could use it. I'll probably do that tomorrow or earlier Friday. But then the other three, I really don't want to do three Sunday, especially these three. I don't know. It's gonna suck. If I guess if I'm not taking off much grass, it'll be taller. We'll see. It'll all be worth it though. I promise you that. By the way, today is our national holiday, June 5th, Festivus for the rest of us. Ken and I always got tired of talking about July 4th, so we made our own holiday, June 5th, the 5th of June. Welcome. Best of us for the rest of us. Anybody recognize this? This is Silver Lake. And it's brown because their algae recirculation pump or something like that's dicked again. Anyways, this is one of my favorite houses in here in Silver Lake Village. Take a look at that. Homie, homie, homie. Needless to say, there's a lot of nice homes in here. Uh, some nice cars in here too. I don't know of any Uber exotics, but there's a couple M's, a couple AMGs. Um, there's a guy down here, he has a Z3, he just built a new house, he actually bought the lot, I think he tore the old place down, or maybe actually it burned down, I'm not sure, there's been a few houses in here that burned down over the last few years, they were old, um, but they built new ones, some of them, this one here always reminds me of houses in Florida, houses in Florida look like that, uh, that one's fairly new, that one a dentist owns I think, and they just built that, it's pretty nice. Over here is the guy with the Z3, this white place that kind of looks like a castle. It's almost too big for the lot. Nice house though. And those all face the lake. On this side there's Crystal Lake, which is quite a bit smaller, but they just built that house a little bit ago. And this one here, which is just gargantuan size. Uh, and then there's the ones that were built back in the 60s and 70s, which are still very nice, just not as ridiculous. We'll go by that guy's house that had the E39 M5, the black one, I want to say. He has a silver 530, which has since been debadged, and uh, a black M5. So we'll see if either of those are out. That would be this house, and it looks like he is locked up today. Guess where we at? Hell yeah. Here's truly. I'm here a few minutes early. I haven't worn the Panerai in days, so the time's way off. But we're going to go in, or actually go outside, and get some dinner. Malfeasance here on uh, 91, just south of town by the bridge over there. Somebody pulled over and there's like four cop cars behind him. Drug bus probably. Alright, I'm going in. Hudson, guys, is quite the city. Oh my god, look at that. That is the world's best looking car right there. Spiker C8. Oh, it's aileron or labiolet, I don't even know, labiolet, whatever. That is so beautiful. And this isn't the one that we've seen before. That was Steve's. This is not Steve's. So there's another one now. Look at that interior. Absolute perfection. So if you ask me if I ever have a, if you ever ask me if I have a dream car, that's it. Right there. Oh, I love it. There are people stopped getting out of the car to film that, to take pictures of it. Everybody knows that it's something really cool and rare and special, but I don't think very many people know it's a Norwegian Spiker C8 with an Audi 4.2 or 6 liter V8. There's the Spiker. There's the M5. And there goes a quattro board. Friggin' rides. I'm on car patrol by myself. Nobody else seems to be responsive, but whatever. It's E88 X3. E88 X3. Ah, oh, let's see. There's a 911 over there. Do I like cars at all? Can you tell? Oh, there's two 911s. Go take a look. 
335, facelifted E90, Lexus CT200 hybrid, and the 2911s, one I filmed like five times. Wait, I swear they're, yeah, they're there. I think they're both 930s. Cool. Pretty damn nice Infinity here, G37S. I'm not the biggest fan of these, but maybe Alex, you'll appreciate that. Buddy just ripping through town here in his tractor trailer. Good luck, dude. Mercedes Benz, is that the GL63? I'm not that sure. I'll pretend I'm filming that, but in actuality, it's a very large woman on a very small bike. Some cool houses here. I'm gonna waste your time so it fills mine, so I'm sorry if you guys get bored of me rambling. Um, I'm at Old First Street, and I think this is Owen Brown Street here. And they're very old, colonial style, and Heinitz is right there. We actually used to bike back here a lot, back before we had cars and to get downtown to go car hunting involved riding a bicycle for 20 minutes. Now it doesn't, so we don't quite as much, but I remember all the little shortcuts back behind the store here and the little sidewalk that comes back to the street that's a quick way to get down there if you so desire to do that. We'll do a quick sweep of the Heinen's lot, see if there's any Paganis. No Paganis, just Kias like Michael's. I thought it would be great idea to use the same design here, but the problem is it's not supposed to be here to be cold. Well, guys, you probably know where I am. This is the Kent State University with Rosvan and Kenan. I don't even know if you're in frame. I just stuck my arm out there. Anyways, Alex is here for DKS, and we're kind of just crashing the whole freaking shindig. But we don't know where he is yet, so we're texting him, and we're going to find him, and then go son of a bitch record him. So stay tuned. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I was just complimenting this place. My god, they have done some nice landscaping work since I've been here. It's been almost a month, I think. It's one of the, what is today, the fifth? It's been damn near a month since I've been here. I think I finished up on... That's exuberant. Uh, I think I finished up on the ninth. But it's maybe... Is it 3.30? Is Panerai wrong? Uh, well, yeah, it's 9.25. Oh, it's 9.25. Alright, Panerai is pretty close. And uh, this is what we have. Looks great. Well, I'm working on moving my sleeping schedule up because I can't be staying up till five in the morning over this next week. Um, Razvan and Kenan were over for a little bit. We did find Alex. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to film him. We were inside and it would have been weird filming the crap out of him in there in Manchester Hall. So anyways, uh, I'm home now. It's cooled down quite a bit. It's about 59 degrees, but it's very peaceful and nice out here. Um, I don't know if I told you, I went over to AutoZone today, I was looking for diff fluid and transmission fluid, they don't have neither, they told me to go to Summit Racing, which is like a half hour drive south, so if it doesn't rain tomorrow, I'll do it then, if not, Friday, it kind of has to get done Friday, I got four yards to do, oh my god, it's going to be fun. Yeah, alright, well that's it, I'm rambling, I'm kind of tired, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up, pretty decent day at the pool today, didn't really get any other work done, but that's okay. So, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Oh, I made another CD. Got some good songs out. This is my old one. That's when we went to New York. Ooh, I got bugs on me. I don't like that kind. All right, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. On Thursday already. This week's flying, and that's good news, because next week is better. All right. Good night.